Okay, so, so far, I got two holes drilled. That one right there. And that one over there. And this bad boy right here has been fitting. I checked it. Took it off the drill press. And uh, sure enough, it fits in those two holes. So, so now I got two more holes to go, and I'm doing the third one. I just thought I'd try to videotape this one as I'm cutting it. Pretty straightforward stuff. But uh, you just put a little magic tap cutting fluid on there, even though we're dealing with aluminum against high speed steel bit, so no big deal there. Just throw a little fluid on there, keep things uh, running pretty good. I'm going to run this about 1500 RPMs. keep my distance from this uh, from this operation because as you can see I only got one clamp on there and if that sprocket decides to spin around and come towards me uh, yeah it could dig right into me really good so I'm sitting back pretty far here okay um, so if it spins around the clamp will keep it from coming off the table but uh, I can always hit the kill switch real quick if we get into a problem here okay so I'm gonna release the, the quills locked down because I was checking the stuff so I'm gonna release the quill. Kind of hard to do with my hand on the camera, but here we go. Okay. So now I'm going to bring it down. Here we go. Start to chip a little bit there. So we're through. Give it a couple more clip swipes, shut her down. Okay, so now I'm going to check the three holes against that bad boy there to make sure we're still good. And then I'll come back and uh, cut the last hole, which I'm not going to videotape. I just wanted to show you a simple drilling operation on the drill press. Aluminum's pretty easy to deal with. So, uh, all right, later.